Funding is provided by a grant from New York State Senator Catherine M. Young, representing Western New York's 57th District with a local office in Olean. Chautauqua Sunrise is made possible by a grant from Fredonia Place, a continuing care retirement community providing dignity in a modern luxury environment. From the Access Channel 5 studios in Mayville, it's Chautauqua Sunrise. Chautauqua Sunrise is hosted by Doc Hamels and supported by the award-winning volunteers at Access Channel 5. Continuing the traditions of Senior Report, we are here to share local news, colorful interviews, and events of interest to everyone. Chautauqua Sunrise is broadcast live Saturday mornings each week, countywide, from 9 to 10 a.m. Join us by calling in live, emailing us, or checking out our social media. And now, from the Channel 5 studios, it's Chautauqua Sunrise. Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Chautauqua Sunrise. It's a little foggy out there, so if you're uh, traveling sometime this morning, especially up in the hills of Chautauqua County, take your time. Those curves all of a sudden come up really fast. Uh, I live on the escarpment over in Ripley, and uh, it was a doozy this morning coming off the hill. Uh, with all the lakes we have here, and then the, the, the warm water, and then the cooler air, this is a great... Uh, fog machine here in the county right now and if you are visiting the county uh, be careful at, uh, at nighttime too because the fog can roll in really quick off the lakes and uh, we want to make sure you're safe well we got a great show for you here today and but before we get to all that I got a bunch of things to talk to you about now if this is your first time with with us welcome uh, make yourself comfortable kick back uh, grab a coffee or whatever and uh, I hope you're going to enjoy the show and, and for those of you that I run into or we get notes, thanks for letting us know how you're enjoying the show because we, we enjoy putting it together for you here every Saturday morning. Uh, one thing you, you should know is that at any point in time in the show, you can call us, you can Twitter us, you can Facebook us, and uh, we'll try to take your calls live if you want. Uh, I got my uh, iPad right next to me here, and uh, Chris over in our, our technology booth, he'll shoot over any uh, Twitter things or questions that you may have. If you're shy, you can just give the, your question to one of the guys, they'll forward the question to me. But uh, Let's listen to your voice. Let's hear from where you're at. Uh, we enjoy hearing from you from all over the county. If you're watching this uh, and it's not Saturday morning, August 23rd, it could be later in the week. So some of the things that we're going to be talking about may have happened already. And you, but and also you won't be able to call in. I mean, you can try, but you're not going to get any of us. Okay. So we're live here in Mayville at the beautiful studios here at uh, the old Mayville uh, School, and uh, let's get started here. Um, gosh, it's been a tough week. You know, we we seem to move along here in Chautauqua County, and you, know, you might have a car accident or something like that. Or unfortunately, we, we uh, last week Vince Horgan and I talked about the war on drugs here in the county. But the the murder in Sherman Westfield there, what a what a tragedy. Um, it's it's so hard to understand, and, and you know we watch the the network news, and and we see small towns have these sorts of things, and we think, oh, that that probably wouldn't happen here, and here it happened again. We had that situation last year in Frewsburg where a poor couple got uh, murdered, and so on. And uh, so I was thinking about it on the way here, and I thought, well, what words of wisdom could I share with any of us? And here's just a thought, and I'll tell you why I'm going to tell you this. About four or five years ago, I was coming home and pulling in the driveway, and I, I saw this vehicle along our road near my house, and it was a, a white van. And, you know, you think, well, maybe it's a delivery truck or whatever, but they weren't positioned in someone's driveway. They were just sort of straddling the road, and I'm thinking to myself, well, that is a bit peculiar. Then I saw it again, and now I'm thinking, why is this here? Well, like two days later, 
my neighbor uh, got broken and they got all their uh, guns stolen. So if you see a vehicle parked in your area or keeps coming through that you don't recognize, or especially an out-of-state plate, as was in this particular case, the, these uh, perpetrators supposedly, supposedly, they're, 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 they're only been charged, they're not tried yet, but we're from out-of-state, uh, something doesn't look right, uh, keep a high vigilance and uh, talk to your neighbors about it, check things out, and uh, just you know, take care of each other. Something to think about. Okay, um, I have a, a bunch of announcements that I want to share with you right now, but I also want to tell you that if you or your organization has an upcoming event, it's free. We are here to serve you. If you have a fundraiser coming up or you want to tell us about somebody's birthday or an anniversary, hey, call in, give a shout out to your family and, uh, and just, uh, you know, make, make their day, hopefully. So. Uh, we're going to start a list here, and the guys, I'm, I'm probably driving them crazy because I get longer and longer lists, and I have more and more visuals for you that we've been putting on the air. So let's start right out with the Westfield Memorial Hospital Diabetes uh, Clinic, and that's coming up here. Uh, you have to sign up by August 28th. It's free of charge, and I keep forgetting how many weeks it is. Jeff will say something to me here in a second. I think it's 16 weeks long. Uh, it's right at the hospital. It's only an hour uh, a day. And think about right now what we've been talking to you about right along since we have the folks from the hospital here. Diabetes is epidemic in our area. It's something that we used to think was for old people and it's not. It's for young people that are sometimes <clears throat> are born with this or they develop it uh, uh, as they go along. It's sometimes uh, women develop this uh, after pregnancy. Many of us inherit it through our family genetics. This is huge. This is not a, a small matter. This is, this is a growing thing. And if you or your family uh, are involved with diabetic situations, uh, sign up. Uh, Kim Greiner is the counselor there and educator, and she's awesome. And uh, they're looking forward to hearing from you. So check that out. You've got, let's see, this week, you got to sign up for it. So. We've been talking about it right along, so check it out if you will, and there's all the information, 338-0010. Also, we've got <clears throat> our good friend Kathy Young, who is a sponsor of this show and our, our, our state senator in, in Albany. Uh, she's got a photo contest. Gee, when, everybody should have a photo contest, I guess. Well, Kathy has her own, and she's asking that uh, people send their favorite uh, photos of uh, Western New York here in Chautauqua County, hopefully. Uh, over to her, and uh, she's looking to have all that by September 1st. Uh, I don't even know. What's, I don't, what's the prize? Is there a prize, Jeff? I don't see anything there. Uh, maybe it's like a, a trip to, uh, like, I don't know, Albany? <laughs> I don't know. A surprise gift. We'll Kathy's going to be on next week. We'll find out. Inquiry minds want to know. Anyways, you can uh, take up to five uh, photos, send them to her, and you can send them to her um, Facebook account. And for those of you who say, I don't do Facebook, get your grandkids to do it. They'll do it for you. Okay, it's real simple to do. You just load it up on your digital camera, and then uh, you can put a little wire into your computer. <laughs> up it goes. It's like magic. Okay, another fun activity coming up here in September is the, let me get this straight here. Well, why don't you bring it up, and I can say it. Uh, it's the Jack Carlson, there it is, Jack Carlson Lawnmower Poker Run for Hospice. Uh, the guys filmed this uh, last year or the year before, and to see these people zoom around on tractors and lawnmowers, it's like, hmm, this could be a lot of fun. Uh, it's raising money for hospice, and as many of us know, hospice is something that is so important in our lives, especially when we're coming to the, uh, the final days and weeks in our lives, to have somebody come in that's going to help the family to in, uh, spend those, those really quality uh, days together with, with your uh, sick individual, someone that, that's in their uh, final years, months, days, and, and be at home, to be, to be with family. Uh, we had hospice with a family member, and I'll tell you, it was, it was just so good to, to be surrounding her and, and just walking in, in and out, and you didn't have the, the distractions that you sometimes see with the bells and whistles at the hospital. And there's nothing wrong with that, but if you're able to do this at home, that's really a really, really nice way. And we, we salute the folks at hospice and all the volunteers, uh, but this is a, a fundraiser to help them out. Okay, I'm not gonna mention uh, 
the other things on the list that I have until a little bit later on, but I do have a one announcement coming out of Westfield. The firemen, the volunteer firemen, our good buddies over there that help us with mutual aid in Ripley, um, they're having a special event tonight, August 23rd, from 6 to 9.30, and let me bring it up here because I don't want to read this wrong, but they have <clears throat> yeah, technology. Come on, come up. They're going to have a disc jockey. His name is... Cool tunes, and they're going to be uh, having refreshments. And what they're asking if you can bring school supplies or backpacks to help the kids get ready for school. September 2nd, mom and dads, hold a celebration. Not yet. We still got to get through Labor Day, but school starts early this year. So, anyways, uh, Westfield Fire Department over on Clinton Street, if you want to come over there and enjoy some music tonight and uh, help kids get ready for school that's over in Westfield. So thank you, uh, Randy Edwards, for that. And that'll be the last time we'll be talking about that here on the show until next year. All right, let's see what else I got here. Oh, this is a fun one. <clears throat> you can mark your calendars on, on this one. Uh, the Folk Free-for-All. I think it's in its 20th year with uh, Dick and Carmen uh, Gilman up in Fredonia Opera House. They get together a bunch of people from all over the county and even into Pennsylvania, I think. And we get together and everybody plays a couple songs and we all play a one uh, common song together at the very end. But it's just a fun day. Bill and I play there a couple years now and we're going to be there on September 21st. Mark your calendars. I can't tell you the time yet because I don't know the time it is. It's like, I don't know, three in the afternoon or something like that, two o'clock. But anyways, check the, the website for the uh, 1891 uh, Fredonia Opera House. It's listed there. It's free of charge. <clears throat> and the only thing they ask is when you're there, is if you can think about maybe buying some 50-50 tickets to offset the cost of the program. But uh, just a lot of fun, and it's uh, highlighting lots of fun music. If you're out in uh, Geneva on the Lake today, just in case you're passing that way, Bill and I are playing an Irish fest over there uh, at the... Firehouse Winery, I think it's called, right on Geneva on the Lake. So if you're passing through, stop by, tip a couple pints of Guinness and have a song with us. We're playing from 4 to 7.30 tonight. Well, I've mentioned a bunch of stuff, and as you can see, if you're visiting here over at Chautauqua or if you're anywhere in the county visiting, there's a lot going on here. And uh, the, the guys, they wear me out trying to announce everything and keeping up on all the different events that are going on in the county here. So anyways, welcome to Chautauqua County. We're going to take a, a short public service announcement, and we're going to get right to our program. How's that? You'd do anything to take care of that spot on your lawn, so why not take care of that spot on your skin? If you're a man over 50, you're in the group most likely to develop skin cancer, including melanoma, the cancer that kills one person every hour. Check your skin for suspicious or changing spots. Go to spotskincancer.org to find out what to look for. A message from the American Academy of Dermatology. I talk. Well, welcome back to Chautauqua Sunrise. I'm Doc Hamels. If you just join us, uh, feel free to call in, and they're going to pop up some information here in a second about whether to Twitter us, call in, uh, Facebook us, and all that sort of thing. But we encourage you to participate in the show today, and we would love to hear from you. Keep it civil. You know the rules. We don't want you complaining about all the taxes and things. There's nothing I can do about it. But if you say it in a nice way, maybe your local politicians might be listening. Okay. I want to, I've already mentioned that uh, Bill and I are going to be playing music today. And I talk to you about all that all the time, okay? But I was thinking about our, our next guest today, and I was thinking about technology and, and, and so forth. And, and this is how I'm going to introduce things. If I had YouTube when I was 15 years old and I had the program at my fingertips that we're going to hear about here in a minute, I would be a rock god. <laughs> I would be a guitar idol. I mean, I would be unbelievable. The thing of the thing, the thing of how we used to uh, figure out music and how to learn songs is incredibly crazy. I used to remember Saturday, Buffalo Evening News, Saturdays. They would put this one song in the paper with the chords, and I couldn't wait to find out what the next song was going to be so I could learn it. You know, something like Captain Tennille would show up. What am I going to do with Captain Tennille? I want the Beatles. I want the Rolling Stones. Every once in a while, they'd have a really good song in there. Or we used to go see other bands because there was no there was no way to really 
uh, get a feel for music. And so we'd stand there and we would be copying down the chords they would play or how, the licks they would do and so on. Or I, one of my worst things I would do, and this is terrible, I can't even believe I'm going to bring this up, but I'll tell you anyways, because I'm an honest guy. My dad would say, uh, uh, where do you want to go today or whatever? And I said, well, you know, I'll go with you shopping, but can you stop at this music store for a minute? And he'd say, yeah. And I would run in, open up the book, let's say for the Beatles, I'd, I'd go, okay, it's G, C, D, E minor. And I'd run to the car, I'd write it down, and go back and run back into the store, and I'd go, okay, this the bridge. Because <laughs> I couldn't afford the music. Music was really expensive you know, back then. And we didn't, we didn't have any way to, to, to look at it other than wait for them to go on TV or buy the record and, uh, and, or get uh, guitar lessons. But guitar lessons were really really hard to find somebody that was really good at it. it was you know you, you get the the metronome guy and you had a, you know all that sort of so most of us are self-taught people say well did you take guitar lessons I've never taken a guitar lesson in my life and I've been playing for like a long time I won't tell you quite all right 47 years you twisted my ear twisted my arm here but it's been a long time but we all self-taught so anyways so what I want to do right now is I want to welcome Shane Hawkins to the show. She's the executive director of, I got to get this right, Infinity Visual and Performing Arts. How's yes. that? I got it right. Perfect. So yeah. welcome to the show. Thank you. And uh, so what I said is kind of true, isn't it? It's, it's totally true. Totally yeah. true. And that's the way a lot of us guys did things. So uh, just to get started, tell us a little bit, little bit about yourself and, uh, and, uh, and so just folks know a little bit more about you. So where are you from? Where, you know, where did you grow up and all that? Well, we kind of went around a lot of different places until mm -hmm. we landed in Jamestown when I was 10. So I've been here since I was 10 mm -hmm. and went to Jefferson, Rogers um, Elementary School, Jefferson Middle School, Jamestown High School, Fredoni State. Um, just really thought about leaving the area, but I started having children young, you know, mm -hmm. got married really, really young. <laughs> um, and just wanted to raise my family here. It's a, it's a great place. It's safe. And... I just wanted my kids to have the same experience, and it's it's been so much better um, since I graduated from high school. Downtown Jamestown has had this renaissance, yeah, and it's, nice. it's it's completely different than when I was there. So it's it's exciting. It's it's really neat to watch, and Infinity yeah. has just wasn't around when I was in no. high school. And so. we, we should say that Al, your son Alec is here so that he can hear his name on TV. Yes. So now he's, <laughs> he's famous. There he is. Yeah. <laughs> he's Kids he's posing over there. <laughs> so glad you could come along, me. Alec. It's Alec, not Alex. I found that out. So let's make that very clear. Yeah. Alex is somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> we have Alex's also. At okay, Infinity, so what did you study at Fredonia? Because I went to Fredonia for one of my degrees. Well, I was going to be a veterinarian. That was my. Oh, that makes job. sense. The two right. go together, I know. right? Yeah. <laughs> I fell into this this job. I, my kids were, I wanted to see what would happen if you put your kids into music when you weren't musical. I'm not a musician. And what would happen if you just surrounded them with musicians and mm -hmm. Infinity was an opportunity to do that. So Was Infinity there before? 1998 Infinity started. So now who started it? No, I, Ron Graham. Oh, I, I know yes. who he is. Yes. Was this a, no, somewhere in my, the back of my brain it says something that Infinity had something to do with the Striders at one time. Ron had something to do with Striders. He had started nothing Striders. To do with, had nothing to do with Striders. Um, well, Ron was the, he, was the he created out. both Okay. Um, with the similar, the idea of mentors, mm -hmm. you know, getting mentors into the lives of kids and um, giving them marketable skills and support and seeing what happened basically. So um, Striders is of course athletics also, mm -hmm. but Infinity was started for musicians and it was just about music for a really long time. Uh, 2003 is when I started volunteering as a parent because I was just amazed and I was friends with a lot of musicians. Mm -hmm. And musicians all say the same thing you said. <laughs> if there was an Infinity, if there was, I would, uh, <laughs> where would I be oh now? My gosh. Um, yeah. So I just fell in love with the program and the concept and what was the potential for the kids that were involved? And all right, well, so let's 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 talk a little bit about what are the programs right now for mm -hmm. Infinity. You mentioned music, but I know it's yes. that's not your title. It doesn't say Infinity Music Program. It's right. a bunch of stuff. It was music for a long time. In 2010, we started to. Ron retired in 2008. Mm -hmm. um, I started doing this job in 2009, and then we we opened it up because I'm not a musician, but I know there's other kids that need that mentorship and they need that self-esteem boost um, and to be surrounded by adults that are interested in their success. So 
we opened it up to art first, and then um, theater and dance and literature. So, when you say art, what do we mean by art? Visual arts. It's a, a lot of different things. It depends on the instructor. We really rely on the instructors and the kids to come up with the ideas for the classes. Mm -hmm. um, we're not going to tell kids what they should take. We want to hear what they want to take, and then find an instructor that is um, qualified and and able to do that. So. Okay, before we went on the air, I, I, I warned you I was going to ask a question, and so I'll ask the question, well, so what? Yeah. So what? So why do we even have this program? Just Schools take lessons, care of yeah. all that, you know, uh, parents will pay for their kids to get piano lessons. So what? Mm -hmm. Why do we even have this program? Sure. So what, what's the big deal? I can answer that. Well, please do. <laughs> um, the schools have had to reduce arts and music, you bet. Um, mm -hmm. as you well know, mm -hmm. and you know that's been sad to see. But it's it's been a necessity for the schools. They've been faced with really tough budget crises. So um, we've picked up some of that after school, and some kids can't afford lessons. So a big part of Infinity and when it was created is a scholarship process. So I write a lot of grants every year in order to have a pot of money that for families that can't afford lessons they can also come in and, and have the same opportunities. And the instructors don't know, you know, who's scholarship and who isn't. It's just an administrative function. Mm -hmm. And then the kids have the same chances as, we truly have a cross-section, you know, all walks of life, every different um, segment of the population that you can think of, and they all have the same opportunity. So self-esteem, it's about building that self-confidence and self-esteem. Some want to go to Berkeley College of Music or Juilliard or, you know, become a, a professional artist, but for the most part, kids just need support. I'm going to throw something at you, and, 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 and if, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just tell me that. But sure. um, I'm thinking, uh, I think it's now seven, Gardner, seven types of intelligence. Mm -hmm. Yes. What's that got to do with you guys? Well, like, if you're sitting a kid in a desk, and they're sitting there all day, and you're trying to teach them things, if they're kinetic learners, mm -hmm. um, that's not going to work. Yeah, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. they need to be moving. They need to be physically doing that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the creativity, the unlimited creativity that happens at Infinity is, it's magical to watch. Kids come in and they say, you mean I can, I can do this? You know, <laughs> I, I'm allowed to do this and you're not going to tell me exactly how. I have to figure it out on my own. Um, we do a lot of summer camps now and we have what's called a cultural world tour and a time traveler camp. Oh my gosh. And those have been neat because we've hit history and geography and um, mathematics and everything through the arts. So it, everything can be taught through the arts and the kids, they're self-learning at that point. Mm -hmm. You know, we say, we're going to learn about the, the time continuum. You know, what do you want to find out about? And they come up with funny things. You know, when was the toilet invented? Things like that. But then we look it up and we put it on the Thomas timeline. Thomas Crapper or whatever. Yes, name exactly. <laughs> so, um, but they just want to know all about and that gives them, you know, a sense of their place in time as well. You know, the reason why I mentioned so, uh, Gardner's multiple intelligence, um, I remember when I was in school, and it's not so much different than probably most folks are, are listening right now, you went to school, you did, you know, at 8, 8.30 we did, I don't know, reading, and then at a certain time you did English, and you did this, and it was, everything was the same. <laughs> and, at, and so you did reading, writing, arithmetic, social studies, science, if you had time for science. Science was always like this other thing that was just sort of out there. <laughs> and uh, I remember, because I went to a parochial school, I remember clearly getting this little pad. It was only about this big. And there were uh, prints on there. Not prints, but prints. It's little pictures of like Vincent van Gogh mm -hmm. and, and Picasso. And uh, I remember the one photo uh, painting did Starry Night. and. Uh, and, and, and then you would peel it off and on the back would tell you all about it and then and we'd go over a couple of these and say, okay, that's it for today for that's art. That's your art. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like, uh-huh. <laughs> so, I mean, I never picked up a paintbrush or anything like that. Mm. And then when I went on to high school, it was a college prep. And so college prep, there's, there's no time for, for, for arts. <laughs> You're supposed stuff. to be, no fun stuff. I mean, <laughs> I went to Canisius High School and we were we were trained to be like these uh, these like big brains. And uh, <laughs> no, I was just a middle-sized brain, okay. Anyways, but uh, but there was no art lessons. There was no, no I, don't, I don't ever remember taking music, but what we had, what, an outlet was we would put on uh, performances. Mm -hmm. Like I was 
I don't, I don't look like if I was one of the gentlemen from the, uh, Japan in the Mikado, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long story. Uh, and I did wear uh, a kimono. Is that what is it? we yeah, call it? Photos of that, yeah. Long, <laughs> no, well, my father does. <laughs> Anyways, uh, but that was an outlet for music, but it wasn't in everyday life. And here we are playing, you know, music and listening to all this stuff, and then they were doing all this classical kind of stuff. But it, but it wasn't part and parcel of our daily lives. So... Now we're talking about modern day uh, education, and, and you're right, there's a great battle going on, is how many minutes of the day do we have to spend on, right. um, what do they call that, where you're taking the kids back and, you, and you're re reteaching things, and there's, they got um, special classes if they didn't score well on mm -hmm. the state exams and so forth, and so after a while, huh, you know, is this, are, are we, what are we doing here? And so we're, we're kind of like squeezing the creative juices out of the kids, and then there's no time. There's no time, there's, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and you know, kids can only sit in little pieces of time, about 20 minutes at a time, as research shows. Uh, us adults supposedly can go 40. I think we'll I'm still a kid, I think I'm like 26 <laughs> minutes. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, so we, 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 kids come out of school and they're kind of, you know? Yeah, kids learn by playing, so right. it's 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 hard. It's and and so they they re, you know they're they're doing the the iPads and the phones, mm -hmm. which is fine, and uh, but the the arts make us alive, you know. Right. So tell me more. So so we talked about the visual, mm -hmm. and, and tell us about um, what what kind of instruction are you doing with music? Let's go there. Music is very well developed. It's been around since 1998, of course, and some of our instructors have been with us that whole time. Mm -hmm. So we've added quite a few over the past few years. We've grown um, in students about a thousand percent in the past four years. Um, we changed some marketing things. We, you know, hired some new people, and it's just been the growth has been incredible. Um, All right. So how how young can you be? What's the youngest you'll go? Well, we have a birth to five class. So birth to five for music. <laughs> we do, yeah. Uh, Karen Suber, who does really? music oh, together. Oh, yeah, Karen. She's the yeah. she is. She came the drummer. to the. She is. Yeah. She's the um, brought all the African percussion yeah, yeah, to the yeah. to the hoot nanny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so she does a birth to five class. Okay. She also does a five to seven class. But most of our private lessons start at five. Okay. Um, it depends on the instrument. You know, some mm -hmm. instruments like guitar, you need to be seven, eight. Your fingers um, got to be a little bit kind of long. You need the strength. strength you need the dexterity. I'm yeah. working with my granddaughter Kyla, and we have mm -hmm. lessons at my house this summer, so oh, she's getting there. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so guitar. Mm -hmm. What else you teach? Oh wow! Oh, there's like 20 instruments. Well, do you want me to, yeah, I, I want you. To, I, people <laughs> want to know. They're gonna say, "Well, do you play the tuba? You know, whatever." Um, yeah, we, See? we can do that too. See, um, I wouldn't have guessed that. And we really ask for students to advocate for themselves and say, mm -hmm. "What do you want to learn?" And we're still looking for a hammer dulcimer person. That's uh -huh. one of the requests right now. And Carmen Gilman. Carmen Gilman. Really? Yeah, she okay. plays the hammer dulcimer. I will have to. Sorry, Carmen. I gave a secret away. <laughs> She's very good at it. Um, let's see. Okay, currently we teach uh, guitar, mm -hmm. piano, drum set, voice, bass guitar, violin, viola, cello, double bass, mandolin, mallet percussion, steel drums, hand drums, B3 organ, saxophone, flute, trumpet, trombone, French horn, clarinet, and then we've also added songwriting, filmmaking, and digital and audio production as a private lesson. Um, in addition to acting and then various art and theater Type classes, so I'm saying I'm stunned. Yeah, I didn't realize. It's, it's I, you know, I've been fast. to Infinity like a <laughs> zillion times. I didn't. Yeah. Is Dennis Drew do the B3? Oh, that's a good idea. I have to <laughs> check with him about that. Actually, Steve Davis and, okay. and Kate Furman are our two B3 instructors. Okay. So, uh, uh, but I, I remember would love to get Dennis the, in there. The Hammond B3 <laughs> was the, the 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 keyboard that you always wanted in your band because it sounds so cool. That's so neat to watch oh, too. Yeah, yeah. really good stuff. Wow. Okay. So you, you have kids sign up for these I instruments. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you a little story. You don't even know this story. There's a little fella, um, his name's Braley. You know who Braley I is? I know Braley. Yeah. Braley and I were sitting, um, waiting in the waiting room one day before Bill and I were going to conduct and host the, the Hoot Nanny. Mm -hmm. And it seemed like you guys were going through, the only thing I can think of is a selection process of what instrument did you want to take up? And I saw the kids, they were trying this and they were trying that. And Lord knows I was steering as many kids away from the banjo as I could. <laughs> no, that, that was a shot for Bill. Uh, <laughs> but Braley was, was sitting next to, next to me with his mom and, and she was saying, find something that's portable and small. Right. Well, um, he says, I, I, I'm thinking mandolin. And I go, 
awesome. Yes. <laughs> I said, I play a mandolin. It's awesome. And his mother kind of looked at me like, you're just blowing smoke. And I go, no, really. really? It's a great instrument. Yes. As if you can play the mandolin, you can play the violin, you can play mm -hmm. a bazooki, you can just do all kinds of things in it. And it lends itself right to piano because of the way that's it's laid out. It's and so I, so I didn't yeah. see uh, Braley probably for, oh gosh, nine months. So then we're playing the Hoot Nanny Pass in June, and there's Braley with a mandolin. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you remember. And, I, and so we were going to do his song, and I said, Braley, get up here. And the two of us uh, were playing mandolin together. And That's that was so just neat. so, that was just a great moment for me because it's just so much fun to, to play music together. Uh, if you That's don't. great for him. Great. You know, I hope so, but for me, it was, it was really cool. <laughs> I don't know. No, but it, it he just was impacts a, so many lives. Yeah, it was yeah. just really, really good. And uh, we. Uh, I, it, it, unless you've played together music with another person, uh, it's hard to explain mm -hmm. the feeling, isn't it? Or yeah. just sing in harmony with I'm somebody. Very jealous. It's yes, <laughs> <laughs> I'm terribly jealous. I wish I could play. Uh, so. Take some lessons. I know a place I will you go in my to. spare time. I will. We do adult lessons okay. as well, so I let's, have to Let's do talk that. about my buddy Adam, uh, who's the Adam Owens. Big, big, yes. big Adam, big boy. Oh, Adam's he, fabulous. When I walk, he walks in the room. I look like a midget. And, but he is yes, so six, five, talented. So he is. So he must do. I'm guessing he has something to do with theater. You are a good guesser. Yes. <laughs> um, he actually took our theater program, which was pretty much non-existent. We wanted to have it, but it really relies on the instructor that can connect with the kids. And he's he's just grown it into this really strong portion of our program, and we'll be developing that even more next year. So what kinds of things does he do with the kids? He has a glee club, he has a drama club that mm -hmm. he runs, and then he does a lot of private acting lessons. Mm -hmm. um, we did comedy college for Lucy Desi Comedy nice. Festival, which mm -hmm. was, I watched it, I sit in the back of the room, you know, and <laughs> just watch him work, because he, yeah. I can't do what he does, I'm amazed whenever he gets on stage. Um, yeah, and I said, I want you to do this for the kids. I want you to do something in this vein. It was acting out scenes of Lucy. Uh -huh. um, you know, it wouldn't have to necessarily be Lucy outside of the comedy <laughs> right. fest, but um, it was just neat, just the way he directs people and uh, gives them confidence to be actors on stage. Right. It's amazing. Let, let's use Adam for an example, because I, I saw Adam not too long ago, and I said, what you been up to? And we were talking, and I was telling him what I've been up to, and he was in like five different plays a, within like three months, and I go like directing them. <laughs> yeah, and he was Shrek. Yes, which seems like a good role a role for he him. He makes a good Shrek. Yeah. Uh, but the quality of of the of the instructors is you know compared to none. There I mean, are so awesome. many creative people in this county. Yeah. So many, and you tap into that, and they see the concept of I'm going to help this kid in a way that I couldn't be helped when I was young what's possible right. it's it's like magic let's yeah. take a breath mm -hmm. let me uh just uh, let folks know you are watching chautauqua sunrise i'm doc hamels with something in his eye <laughs> uh and i i have my very special guest here today shane hawkins the executive director of infinity visual and performing arts over in jamestown and if you have a question for her or myself or want to share some information, call us here. It's 753-5225. Uh, you can Twitter us. You can Facebook us. You can do. You can walk in the door with a piece of paper. I don't care. <laughs> we want to hear from you, so please do. Besides, we can only do so much talking, and, and we'd like to answer some of your questions about the program. Okay, I said in Jamestown, is this mm -hmm. countywide? Can you come in from different parts of the county? You can. We have a main site in Jamestown, but we have a program in Gowanda after school at the middle and high school. Um, we mm -hmm. just signed up with Brockton yesterday, actually. Well, what's going to happen in Brockton? That's near me. It's an after school program. Um, Chautauqua Opportunities runs it, and we, we contract a lot with Chautauqua Opportunities. Mm -hmm. um, they like to bring the arts into their programming, mm -hmm. so they usually contract with us. Okay, so you're, you're dovetailing into what's already there and yes. bringing, oh, yeah. nice. And then okay. Head Start, we were put into Head Start last year and we have a music educator in the classroom. Head Start's like little guys. They're three to three and four years old and then there's some even younger, so. Very good. Yeah, that's been fun. What, if any, uh, research have you found or read or can talk about that says, this stuff's good for you? I guess it's just anecdotal, just watching the kids. Mm -hmm. You know, I've done a lot of research on the value of arts education for children. Um, but yeah, it's it's just amazing to to see it happen live. Mm -hmm. um, the kids, they come in, they're shy, they aren't comfortable on stage. You keep putting them on stage, giving them positive feedback, and they just grow as people and become confident. Mm -hmm. And then they'll try other things in their life. Somewhere along the line, I remember reading, now this is just music, but 
if you if you do music and you enjoy music, you are very mathematical. Yes. Yeah. And there's music uses the whole brain. It's mm -hmm. the only thing actually that um, uses the whole brain when you're doing it. So. I mean, just to think of the power in that, you know, <laughs> how many of us use our whole brain, uh -huh. you know? <laughs> huh, that must be the exception to the rule. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I know that, and, 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 and if, if you're watching this and you are a musician, maybe you'll understand this, and, and I'll do my very best. But when people say, when you play music, uh, you know, what do you think about? And, and I tell them, when I play music, I think of what I'm doing geometrically. Nice. And I can't well, explain it, though. but it's like when I do a chord, I see the shape of the chord. I don't see the notes, okay? Maybe That's because me. I never took a lesson, but, but when I'm, I'm, I'm watching things, music go up and down, it, it's movement. It's not mm -hmm. little dots on a paper. It's something very visual and very um, geometric. That's the only way I can explain sure. it. For instance, if anybody knows what a D chord is, I don't, when I think of a D chord, I don't, I don't see that as... My finger in three places. Or my fingers in three places. It's it's a it's a triangle. Mm. A C chord is is like this thing here. You know, and an E has a different shape in my mind. Sure. And it's it's just real interesting. And and when I listen to um, various groups, I also I see layers. Mm -hmm. I don't. It's 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 just hard to explain. But when you when you're involved with music for a while, you 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 see the world a little differently. Yes. And it brings things to life and so forth. And and I think we we find with the <coughs> excuse me with the arts uh, with with even visual things, people see depth in things. They just don't see things for its face value. They see the meaning behind it and so forth. And there's so much gray area. You can yeah. take it in so many different directions. It's Good not stuff. something that you're going to learn this and that's what it's always going to be. You learn a song and you can change it every time you play it. So right. there's free them there too. Let's talk a little bit about this mentor uh, student role. Tell me more about that. How's that how's that work with the with the kids in their in their uh, their teachers and so forth or from the community? How's that work out? The main part of the program, we really try to get kids in private lessons. That's mm -hmm. a weekly half hour, sometimes an hour depending on on the student's level and what the parents are asking for. And they meet with that instructor the same day and time every week mm -hmm. for 11 months of the year. Wow. So it's a bond. Mm -hmm. And, you know, most of the time it's music instruction, arts instruction. Um, but sometimes the kids are going through something and they need just somebody to listen. And, you know, the understood rule that's part of the, our employee handbook is if a student needs to talk, that's what, you know, you'll still get paid the same as if the teaching was happening. Um, so, you know, we just try to support the kids. Whatever they need, we try to support them. And we have connections throughout the, the community with um, professionals, if it's a, a serious topic, that we can hook them up with. You know, we can't handle that in-house, right. obviously, right. but um, just to know that they have somebody that they can talk to and it's a one-on-one, -on -one, there's no distractions. They get that person to themselves for that amount of time. And, you know, for a lot of the kids, they're doing great, and they just want to look at this new song I learned. <laughs> so, but then it's somebody to listen to the song. Mm -hmm. um, right. So. And give them a little advice, critique it in a yes. gentle way. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Oh, nice. So. Yeah, it's, um, it, it, I'm sure this is, uh, like you said earlier, it's taken that person, I don't want to say student, cause it, but, but, but a person mm -hmm. that has something in them that, that hasn't been unlocked until then, this gives them such great opportunities yes. to express themselves in so many interesting ways. Now, you know, I suspect many times you say, don't give up your day job dream. You know, you um, still go, I mean, you could be a musician, but I mean, but sometimes music could just be for fun or just, Absolutely, you know. they can do it their whole life. It's right. one of those things that you Imagine learn that. as a child. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> can do food nannies at, at, at any time. Right. Um, but the instructors are fantastic and they yeah. really get it. They understand they were that kid mm -hmm. and they might not have had that connection or, or maybe they did have a good teacher and they know how important uh, it is. So. Save you so much time too, mm -hmm. in doing it wrong and then finally learning how to do it right. Um, how many instructors do you have? We have thir about 36 right now. Really? Really. Uh, I did not know that. <laughs> They're not all full-time. Um, yeah. But we have about eight, eight people that are full-time as far as between administrative and teaching. Okay. Um, I, I want to bring up a photograph, and Jeff, I'm going to skip ahead one slide. And if you could bring this one up, I want to talk about this a little bit. Um, I was on Facebook with a, a young woman named Haley, and ah. she said to me, <laughs> we're doing a concert uh, oh, a, a farewell okay. concert, and would you Aww. and Bill join us for a song? 
And I, it was such a, a um, I can't explain it. It was just a warm feeling. It was like, well, thank you. So there you see me. I'm, I'm talking. I'm, I think that's where I stopped the audience and told them, hey, this is a clapping song. Get with it. <laughs> and, uh, and then you see your daughter, Ryan, mm -hmm. and next to me, and then Haley, and then Bill, of course, on banjo there. And yeah. this was right at Infinity. And this is... Last this is weekend. where you are presently at, and we'll, we'll get yes. to that. But the whole idea is there, there you've got two old guys with uh, two aspiring musicians, and we just had a blast. It was so much fun, and uh, that was a good night. You made an impact on them. and Evidently. <laughs> yeah, well, but that's important, you know, and you weren't their private instructor no, that they no. saw every week. Yeah, we only saw them once in a while. In fact, yes. I don't know how many times I turned around. We were someplace at a, well, when we did uh, the showcase, for the, I don't even know what it was called. Remember, <laughs> remember when we were down at the Lucille uh, Ball Theater there, at Lucy Theater? Oh, the Kaleidoscope well, event. That's, that's yes. the one. Yeah. You know, after a while, you do so many of these different things. After right. That. But, you know, we played, and then the next thing I know, I turned around, and there's the girls, and they, they were on next. And, yeah. Um, but we, we seem to cross paths, and that's just, that's really fun for me, just to see them growing and, and uh, you know, coming up through. And uh, I'm going to do this, so you don't have to do this. You can get uh, a tight <laughs> one on this. Um, these young ladies, uh, even though one is the daughter of the uh, director, that has no bearing in the matter. I'm going to get, Randy's going to do a close-up shot. This, they formed a, a group called Simba. There was the two of them. There they are in front of uh, my old house. And uh, <laughs> they have a CD. Now, you have no idea how big deal this is. This is really cool. It's called Eleanor Rem for uh, Eleanor Evermore. Evermore, I'll get it. I can't read backwards. <laughs> it, to you, it looks. I, that's not how my brain works. <laughs> Eleanor Evermore, and uh, I've I've listened to the CD, and it's just some really nice stuff on here. And uh, the girls, what, seventeen, eighteen? So they were sixteen and 16. seventeen when they did this. So how cool is that? And I bet they couldn't have done it unless they had connections at Infinity, right? We have a recording studio, and we allow the students to use it. And we have had several students release CDs, so mm -hmm. it's. Again, they couldn't afford to do it on their own, mm -hmm. and to be able to have a finished product, you know, they do have to put some work and effort and money into it to sure. reproduce it. But the recording, you know, we're able to do that with no, and, no and they, for them. They wrote the music. They yes. sang the music. They yeah, it has to be original. That's the trick. You yeah, can't record those, covers. Those, so. those copyrights are a doozy. Yes. <coughs> yes. But uh, yeah, it, I, you know, I, I just I, I listened to them when we were at the concert the other night. But then, I, of course, when you listen to a, a, a CD, it's tighter and you can hear sure, the sounds. Sure. But I, I didn't appreciate them as much as I, I, I should have, I guess. I mean, they were <laughs> really, really good. I listened to them very closely. And because we do a live, live performance, there's all kinds of noises and distractions, mm -hmm. and it's never quite perfect. But uh, very, very nice job. I mean, put everybody a lot of work was into involved it. with it, yeah. So anyways, so there's there's an end product, and mm -hmm. you know, will they become the the, the 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 next great act? Who knows? Maybe they will, and they'll go out and do some really good work. Um, it's confidence, though. It's confidence. Yeah. yeah, I remember Haley uh, calling her up to this, this join me and Bill on a hoot nanny a couple of years ago, and she was just kind of a little sheepish thing, and now she's belting out the blues, right. and, yeah. out the, and your daughter wasn't even doing anything at that point, and now she's, you know, going in concerts all over the place, and yeah, all kinds of cool stuff. So many kids that follow that same, you know, maybe not to the extent of creating a CD or going to music school, mm -hmm. but just to to form that connection and gain that self-confidence, and then they feel ready to tackle other things in their life. So. The thing I like about the Infinity program, too, is because you have all these different folks that are doing different things, I mean, somebody had to design this. I don't know if the girls did or not, but you have to have somebody that's in the visual arts, right? It's, yeah. And you had to have somebody that was in the engineering end of it that could do the sound, and I get to steal your guy from time to time. Right. Josh <laughs> Ruder is our sound tech, and we drag him all over Chautauqua County. He's, he's, He's going to be in Ohio with us tonight. Nice. And uh, Josh is a senior in Jamestown. Yes, Josh, I mentioned your name. <laughs> and, uh, Josh Ruder. Josh yeah. Ruder. <laughs> and he does a great job. But, I mean, I would never in my wildest dreams would have thought that we could find someone's, uh, this was Bill's idea, not mine, so I'm giving Bill Drill all the credit on this, but to find someone that would travel with a duo and do all their sound for them and do the steps at the age of 17, 18 years old. Yeah, he went through our sound technology program. He is so. awesome. And we had yeah. a Cliff um, Obrist, Obrist mm -hmm. before him. And uh, when you're on stage and, and you're trying to do what you're supposed to be doing 
uh, and you have someone over here on the sidelines that doing all the the, the fine tuning and like your crew here. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah, the Grand Eden, Jeff and Chris. Um, it's it's just it, uh, purely amazing. But to ha but to see someone that young doing yes. that stuff and understand it, he came with us to the opera house when we we played there in March, and we said, "Well, hook you up with the the sound fellow up there." That's Dan, huge. Up. Yeah. And so I said to. Uh, to Josh later. So how was he? he goes? Well, it was about the same as what we do at Infinity. <laughs> so what I'm saying is the technology that you're using mm -hmm. is is in the real world. So how cool it is, is that? Yeah, and then they're marketable skills. Even if he doesn't become a sound tech, he still has a skill set that he can use in other ways. Mm -hmm. So okay, let's get on to some other things here. This is great. You've got something coming up, and uh, why don't you bring up uh, that one, Jeff? Oh, it's uh, a poster that uh, someone designed. Gary for Peters. Gary Jr., Peters. Yeah. Okay, this is for your local music uh, program coming up. Mm -hmm. So tell us about this showcase. Local music showcase. This is the eleventh year that we've done it, and it's our biggest fundraiser of the year. All of the proceeds go directly to uh, instruction for students, and it's very important to Infinity. Uh, we have about fifty bands that come out and support Infinity. Fifty bands locally. They volunteer. Wow, yeah, a lot um, of music. I think in this Doc county. and Bill are yeah, on we're that, that poster. We're <laughs> in that top corner in Brazil. There, I saw um, that earlier. We tap anybody who has a strong interest in in music and mm -hmm. wants to support. Kids. Doesn't it seem hard to believe there's 50 groups that you can call on in this Isn't it county? Amazing? It's amazing. It's just amazing. And yeah. I, probably a lot of it has to do with Infinity. I said I saw some of the names on there. Some of them uh, are Infinity. Uh, is former it Oliver? Infinity. Oliver. Oliver He's is a, a former, former Infinity. One, and I saw Steve Josh. Davis. Yeah. Daniel a lot Witherspoon. Of yeah. yeah. So they're they're coming back and giving back to the yes, community. Yes. Exactly. And again, you know, you go and you listen to some of this music. This is good music. It's, this is not, very you know, just like a uh, you know, bunch of guys just walking in for the first time. Right. This is far and away beyond the garage band, you know, guys just chunking along and, and doing their thing. Okay, so it's September 6th. Six. Next starts two at weeks. Two weeks from now. Yeah. What time? Uh, it starts at 6 p.m., ends at 2 a.m. the next morning. And it's I won't be there at 2 in the morning. <laughs> I, I gave up those days. No, I can't, can't. It's my one, one year, one time a year. But <laughs> one big splurge. The two. Yeah. We used to play it to those hours of the night. I don't know how we used to do it. We had kids, little kids, and the sure. babysitters would be half asleep on the couch <laughs> when we got home. And oh my gosh, it was a crazy life being a musician in those yes. days. But so how does it work? Because you said there's 50 bands, mm -hmm. and, and there's no way I possibly could see all 50 bands, I don't think. So how, how, do you, how does one approach the showcase? We have a schedule, okay. and it is out now on our Facebook page, on our website. And, and how do I get to the Facebook website? What's it called? The website is infinityperformingarts.org. Okay. And then the Facebook page is linked to that, so that okay. they just make it to our website. You'll um, find that. Or just Google Infinity Visual and Performing Arts. And okay. It comes up. All right. Um, so it starts at 6 o'clock, and yes. there's 50, uh, 50 bands over how many venues? 10 venues. Huh. And they're all different time frames. So okay. some start at 6, some don't start till later, and some okay. end earlier than 2 a.m. And they're all in... <laughs> Jamestown? They're all in downtown Jamestown. All right, so it's yes. possible. I suppose if I ran really fast, I'm going from door to door. You to can door. go to each venue. You, um, you might not oh. be able to see all 50 <laughs> acts, but um, some of the most of the acts have a 45-minute set. So, okay. so quite possibly you could make it work. I'd be interested to hear if anybody does that. Oh my gosh. Oh my <laughs> but gosh. it's it's just a great event, and it's all very happy. There's so many people walking around downtown mm. Jamestown. It's just right. a great fun. So, what does it cost? It's ten dollars okay. for a wristband, and the wristband will get you into all ten venues. All right, so you walk in, show the wristband, Absolutely. and they let you in. Yes. Okay, and uh, you're not going to tell me the color of wristband, so people didn't keep them from last year that they're going to. They actually, <laughs> yeah, they're actually custom wristbands, so we okay. we custom. hope that nobody tries to do that, but oh, <laughs> we're ready for it. You never know, somebody's <laughs> out there. Yes. Okay, so uh, so let's say uh, I'm listening right now, and September sixth coming up, and I want to go to one of the venues. But I don't have a wristband. Mm -hmm. How do I get the wristband? You go to the <laughs> venue. We sell them at the doors. Okay. So you can also buy a ticket now at Infinity. You buy you a can, ticket? That you exchange for a wristband oh, gotcha. at one okay. of the doors. Oh, gotcha. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> you're making it pretty easy for folks to come out. We try. <clears throat> September is a nice month. It's usually mild. Mm -hmm. It's really still summertime. Hasn't snowed yet. <laughs> Hasn't snowed yet. Uh, it's easy to get around. So. Um, can, can you name all 10 of the venues? I mean, maybe we should give them I a little I can certainly floor. try. All right, okay, start at let's the top. see. We have Shawbucks, okay. Mojo's, The Wine Cellar, The Pub, 
it used to be the Labyrinth, but now we're doing it at Brazil, which is the that's upstairs. We're, that's where Bill and I are mm -hmm. upstairs. Yep. Okay. Uh, Jamestown Skate Products. Infinity is a site this year. And I'm going to need to look at the poster. Okay, here, there's the poster yeah, here. Forte. Um, oh, okay. Forte is a huge right. supporter of right Infinity. Right by the ridge. Okay. Uh, Chibo. Chibo is another one oh, that Chibo? is Chibo, right oh. on the corner. And they do like late night food, too. Mm -hmm. um, and we have Brazil, we have Jamestown Skate Products, the Wine Cellar, Reg Studio Theater. Okay. It's actually the Studio Theater now. They've changed studio the name. Theater. Yes. Okay. So Very nice. You can walk to all of them. So um, is this for all ages? Um, a lot of the venues are, yes. Okay. Um, some of the venues, of course, the you know the bars and the taverns are 21 and over. But, but can you bring your children with you if you want? I would think you'd need to call the venue. I know the pub is a restaurant, okay. so that would I'm be... I'm just checking this out Yes. so people have all the information. There are it's, quite a few that are all ages, though. Okay, great. And uh, so let's say I, I got my wristband, I walked to the door, and what am I going to... what's going to happen next? What's, what's going on? We have solid music all night long. And so you have a band playing mm -hmm. and you're performing. Yes. That band gets done, and then comes the next group. Yeah, and there's volunteer sound people at each, each place. So we not only have volunteer musicians, we have 10 sound people that volunteer their time as well. And that's huge because then we're not bringing amplifiers and the speakers and all that yes. stuff. That's, that's huge and we thank them for that. That's okay, so we, we've got that coming up on, on September 6th. Now you also have something coming up. <laughs> something. A <yeah>. minor, <laughs> minor matter. Yeah. See how I worked into that? I got, I got, I got us <laughs> moving in that direction. Sure. I hear that you're changing the address. So where you, what's going on? We are moving. Mm -hmm. um, as I said, we've grown a lot in the past four years, and we had an opportunity to relocate to the Lynn Building mm -hmm. um, that's owned by Jabez Development Corporation, and they just really loved what we were doing, and their idea for the Lynn Building is to make part of it a regular rent um, mm -hmm. situation, but then part of it is a community, um, I guess a philanthropic um, devotion to the community nice. and so you know we are paying rent but it's it's mm -hmm. certainly not market um, sure you know Fair market, um, yeah. yeah and they've just been so supportive just really mm -hmm. you know how can we help you mm -hmm. and it's been great it's been a great experience working with them um, Jason the Spain uh, it's the old post office actually a so huge the building, huge building. Oh my gosh. Um, Yes, our entrance will be on 2nd Street, directly okay. kind of kitty corner from the high school, which mm -hmm. is perfect for us. Mm -hmm. um, Chautauqua Striders is also going to be joining us nice. on that floor, Great. so it will be one floor of mentoring and um, support for kids. Okay, we're going to come back to that. You're mm -hmm. watching Chautauqua Sunrise with Doc Hamels, Shane Hawkins, the Executive Director of Infinity Visual and Performing Arts, and we have a phone call. Oh, good morning. This is Linda Spaulding. Linda Spaulding. And good morning, Jane. Familiar. It's so good to see you on the on the show. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, it, this is all very interesting. It's good to hear of all these exciting things that are going to be taking place. Hey, you sort of have a musical connection, don't you? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> My two grandsons. Yeah, they're uh, in two different groups or the same group? Uh, Nick is with the Great Backstreet Boys. Backstreet and they, Boys. they are mm. still they're still together, <laughs> and they were traveling throughout uh, oh, uh, the USA, and they've been in Europe this summer. Nice, nice. yeah. And Aaron is back in New York City uh, doing the Fantastics again. So. Oh, it's so I bet your grandkids could have benefited from Infinity, huh? <laughs> Yes. Well, I guess they did all right without it, though. <laughs> Just think what they could have done if they were in it. I don't know how much more you could go. So what's up, Lynn? How are you? I'm good. Uh, it's good to see everybody on the show. I'm so sorry that the summer went by so quickly. It was a, a, a lot of things happened. Wait a minute. What summer? <laughs> <laughs> I know people have been saying that, but, you know, I, not once did I see the thermometer go to 19 below zero. That's so true. I can't say it was winter. And it didn't go over 100, either. <laughs> <laughs> right. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, and I just want to uh, remind people that uh, we are recruiting people. We do have a waiting list for our senior employment program, and also we have computer training sites mm -hmm. in Dunkirk at the Dunkirk Free Library, in Brockton at the Br Brockton Library, uh, and classes are going to be picking up again at the Patterson Library in Westfield and also at the Jamestown Office for the Aging. Great. And if people want to go to Olean, we have a computer training site in Olean at the uh, Olean once. You're now. everywhere. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> We've trained well over a thousand people. So wow. the, the number is seven five three four four seven one, right? Yes, that's okay. the number for the office of aging. Okay. So is there anything new and exciting out in your office besides all this good training? Anything else coming down the line? Uh, 
That, that's about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, there, there's always the other services that the Office for the Aging provides, um, health insurance counseling. And, oh, huge, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, then there's also, um, you know, uh, the guidance that we give for health care. And um, it, it, there, there's a lot of things there with the Office for the Aging for seniors. I'm going to ask you a question. I saw something in the paper, and I can never say this word, and I don't think most people can. But did I see, <laughs> she's laughing over here. The, is there training for something called ombudsman? Ombudsman That's training, That's the yes. word. Yes, yes. Thank you, Jeff. He had to say it in my ear. I can't say the word. I can't. <laughs> but, uh, yes. These are, these are volunteers. Mm-hmm. And the ombudsman, uh, ombudsman. they meet ombudsman. with um, uh, Jennifer, mm-hmm. and uh, she has a good group going. She's got quite a few people right now. And what they do is they go through a training, and uh, it's about uh, skilled nursing care and assisted living. Mm-hmm. And, of course, the, the needs and the um, perspective of the individuals who are going into this care. And these individuals go to various sites, assisted living and skilled nursing facilities, throughout Chautauqua County, they are advocates on behalf of the person who is there, the patient. Great. They are there to make sure that their needs are being met, Super. and they are certified through New York State. Okay. Uh, that's a huge service. It is a tremendous service. Mm-hmm. And, I'm going to uh, have to get that training one of these days, because I, I want to be called that if I could ever say it. <laughs> Ombudsman. Um, Ombudsman. Uh, Ombudsman. <laughs> right. and, they, and the volunteers have uh, certain sites that they go to because like there's Tanglewood and mm-hmm. there's um, staying on top of things the, right okay. The, okay well super all the, the all the various sites throughout Chautauqua County all right well thanks excellent for, program well thanks for calling in you gonna call me next week I certainly will all right <laughs> we'll talk to you then all right okay. you have a wonderful have, weekend have a, have a wonderful weekend weekend thanks Linda thanks bye-bye bye-bye as Linda Spalling with the Office of the Aging awesome and she got great talent in her family. Can, yes. We're just the Backstreet Boys. Just the Backstreet deal. Boys, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Nice. All right, we're running down. We've got about three minutes left, but let's wrap up the, the, the discussion on the new building. So what's happening? What do you need? We need money right money. now. Money, um, money, money. Yeah, we, if we would have planned this like long term, we mm-hmm. probably would have um, not been in this position to have to do all these fundraisers so quickly. Mm-hmm. But we are trying to raise $221,000. Um, we've written lots of grants. We have received um, several of them. Mm-hmm. So, but we do need to make that amount by the end of the year. So, um, we're just the end of the year being December thirty first. December thirty first. What are happens if you to, don't? Um, we will. We will just go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we'll just this do this more fundraisers. This yes. will be done. It shall be um, done. <laughs> there are a lot of people and a lot of funders in the community that yeah. really believe in what we're doing, and they, you know, we have had some assistance. Great. So, Great. just looking for anybody that's, you know, looking for a tax write-off. That. Um, so, what's going to be in there that's different than there is now? Uh, it's fourteen thousand square feet. We have eighty-six hundred right now, wow, so it's much so larger. Almost doubling it. Almost doubling it, and a much larger performance space. I get lost in infinity now. <laughs> I'll never a, come out of there. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll give you a tour. <laughs> Please see it and a map. Um, <laughs> and you know, now we're just having to shuffle instructors around. You know, you have this room for two mm, hours, then you okay. have to get out, and right. it'll be a lot more. Um, Structured as far as the scheduling, we'll have two art rooms. We have mm. half an art room right now. Oh boy! Two band rooms, um, much larger digital recording studio. So it's it's going to be a big upgrade for us Great. and for the kids. We're going to be wrapping things up here. I know it seems hard to believe. We only got like a minute and a half left of this show. Okay. So I'll give you a, a little bit of time. Take what you need. What do you want the folks to know about Infinity and and, and contact information? This is yours. I'll be quiet. <laughs> Well, Infinity Visual and Performing Arts is the name of the organization. InfinityPerformingArts.org is the address online. You can find so much information on our website. Um, Come out for the local music showcase, buy a $10 wristband. Um, Really supports the kids, supports the future of our program. And yeah, we're looking for donations of time and materials and, of course, monetary um, donations for the move so that we can actually make that a reality for the kids and be there for 20 years that's that's going to be wonderful great yes. and uh, 20 years of, of infinity I can't even imagine what the music scene is going to look like here in Chautauqua County you know we're, we're carving out a niche now for comedy mm-hmm. and the skating and 
wineries. I mean, wow. Yeah. This county really is, is moving in a great direction, and I'm really excited to, to see this and be part of this. Will you come back maybe another time and, and maybe showcase some of your some of the Absolutely. folks? Absolutely. We'd love maybe to bring we, some kids down. Well, let's let's plan on it. In. Let's yeah. do that. Maybe after the new year, we'll, we'll have some folks come down, and by then your building will be all done, and you'll yes. be more relaxed and laid back and so <laughs> forth, and you won't have to worry about time. all the stressors. Yeah. Well, I want to thank, thank Shane Hawkins for coming in today and, and sharing all the information about Infinity. Me. You bet. And I'm Doc Hamels. You've been watching Chautauqua Sunrise. I want to thank Randy Burt for being on camera, Jeff Sook in the uh, engineering booth, and Chris Burt over in IT. And uh, I wish you all a wonderful weekend. Stay tuned to next time. Be well. Still on.